A new California law is blocking police from posting pictures of many accused crime suspects. So one department's getting creative and replacing their faces with Lego heads. Check this out. Marietta police recently posted this photo of two Lego heads arrested for shoplifting. Not looking so happy there. This one was busted for snatching someone's phone. And one of these guys was booked for drunk driving. But why can't they show their faces? That's the question. Marietta PD explained that the new law, Assembly Bill 994, bars cops from sharing suspect photos for nonviolent crimes in most cases. Any mug shots they do post have to be deleted after 14 days. Because, Jesse Waters, in California, criminals are who get protected over victims and over public safety. Well, as executive editor of Jesse Waters Prime Time, <laughs> I don't like this new law because when we're trying to find mugshots of suspects to put on the show, I can't put up someone with a Lego face. We need to see what the person looks like. So I don't like that. But also, if I was ever in this precinct and they maybe arrested me for something I didn't do, because you know I'm always innocent, mm -hmm. and it was a false arrest, and I was eventually found not guilty because I'll have a good lawyer like you or Judge Janine, <laughs> then yes, this would be very, very good, and I would want that. So what probably happened is a very wealthy individual from this county got popped for something embarrassing, and then he greased the city council to put this law through so that never happens again. And I talk a lot about this in my book, Emily, called Get It Together. <laughs> Wait, we what? interviewed someone who wants to empty prisons uh. and believes prisons, even for violent felons, should be like dorms. <laughs> so you could go in and out and go visit your girlfriend, go grocery shopping and go to work. And we'll talk more about Get It Together later, I'm sure. We definitely will. And Martha, at the end of the day, so sure, that, that's a good way of drawing out a positive underside, which is that there's no social stigma or lasting legal stigma on people that are arrested for nonviolent crimes. But it's one more example of hamstringing law enforcement, because we all know that it's what's transparency is what's so important, communication between police departments and the feds, different agencies. That's why we have databases like CODIS and so many databases that victims have fought for and attorneys have fought for so that criminals are put behind bars, not so that they get their reputations improved. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm just thinking about for um, larger crimes, we, we see perp walks all the time yes. um, before people are convicted. Uh, so I'm not sure why for these minor crimes. And obviously, once your name is cleared, your name is cleared. And I think they have a policy of destroying these photos um, so that they don't, you know, hang around forever. But I also can't help but think when I see things like this that there's so much going on in California. You know, people are crossing the border. They have enormous drug problems. They have fed so the idea that someone is sitting around at the, at the precinct, like, pasting little Lego heads onto some <laughs> of the photos disturbs me a little bit just in terms of how their time is, is being used and the energy that's going into this. That's where your tax dollars are going when you're a Californian. Yeah. And here's where your tax dollars are also going, because the bill doesn't stop there, you guys. Let's put up on the screen what the bill also requires, which is it requires law enforcement to affirm gender identity because, heaven forbid, someone they're arresting has their feelings hurt. Using the name and pronouns provided by an arrestee, this is part of the bill language, constitutes an important step toward affirming the true racial and gender identities. This may have the ultimate result of deterring the posting of mugshots altogether, even when doing so may serve a legitimate law enforcement interest, such as, oh, I don't know, maybe asking additional potential victims to come forward to assist with the prosecution. Kaylee, it makes me ashamed to be from California. Yeah, this reminds me, you did a segment on your show, Jesse, about a guy, or I think it was a girl, I don't know, I don't want to misgender anyone, guy, girl, whatever, who was being arrested, right, and insisted that the cop, like, affirm the gender yes. identity during the arrest. It was insane, but, like, this is where we're going with law enforcement. Affirm the gender identity, put a Lego hat on you, why can't we blur the faces? But one thing I learned from this story, people are so funny in their comments. The Daily Caller, a guy named John Schultz, this one wasn't funny, but just true. Public shame used to be something of a deterrent, but mm -hmm. not anymore. This guy, Gerard Barnes, one of the subjects shown in the pic was corn pop. He's a bad dude. <laughs> so we have finally found corn pop, Joe Biden. You were right all along.
this uh, law enforcement agency is actually making fun of the law. Yes. And their descriptions of the crimes are hysterical. So one of the Lego heads was two guys, or the two Lego heads, two guys running out of a store with two giant shopping carts full of stuff. And their hashtag was, that's so much stuff. Because they're <laughs> making fun of it. They want to show these mug shots. They want to show everyone in the community who's <laughs> screwing around, who's stealing stuff, who's driving drunk. And they can't because of stupid cow California laws because what I'm guessing, to Jesse's point, is one of Gavin Newsom's buddies yeah. was probably oh. popped for either DUI or soliciting a prostitute, and his <laughs> mugshot was bandied about, and he's really embarrassed he's really by unhappy. it. Really unhappy, and, and he's not and contributing that's, anymore. That's where dumb <laughs> laws in California come from. This is one police department that is trying to push back with a little bit of humor. Oh, God bless those California police. And officers. by the way, two quick things. One. And when I'm committing a crime, I identify as an innocent person, all right? Mm -hmm. And number two, when I'm defending Jesse Waters, I identify as a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, you do. I'm not so sure I agree with that. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, real next. cheap. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts, Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany, on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern. Or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.